I want to tell you guys a story. Once upon a time, I'd say about nine years ago, there were six to eight young boys between the ages of five and eight, and they uh, they were experimenting with sports. They weren't really sure what they wanted to do uh, as they got older. But one thing that brought them together was they they wrestled. Now they wrestled for a program at a school. It was dying. It wasn't respected. They couldn't fill a lineup. They couldn't win a dual meet. Uh, they produced a, a few decent wrestlers every once in a while, but for the most part, um, it, it just wasn't a good situation. Now, the young coach was full of energy and uh, enthusiasm and ideas, and he obsessed over how he could do his part in turning this program around. Because he always dreamed of Seals Grove having a a successful program. That's what he wanted more than anything else. And he started with putting responsible coaches in the positions at every level that would mirror his efforts, enthusiasm, and qualities in hopes that one day it would lead to success at the varsity level. Well, those six to eight wrestlers in elementary many years ago had instant success. Within two years, titles in the league were, were owned by Seals Grove. Won it numerous times. And, uh, and things started looking good. But still, the, the young coach at the varsity level doubted his efforts. He wasn't really sure if it would produce anything long term. And some days he would think to himself, am I really the guy for the job? Is this what I want to do with my life? Or is there somebody else out there that would do a better job? Because if there was, the young coach would have stepped down because he wanted what was best for the program. But despite wanting to quit many times for numerous reasons, he stuck around. And a few years later, that six to eight young boys who wrestled became 10 to 12 because they brought more of their friends along with them. And what was once a successful elementary program developed into a successful junior high program. And the elementary below that junior high program was also continuing on with success. <laughs> and still, the varsity level struggled. But as the years passed, the young coach started to gain hope. And now what was going on was actually working. We fast forward a few more years. The 10 to 12 junior high wrestlers became 19 varsity wrestlers. And they sat in the mat room as that young coach, who wasn't so young anymore, sat and addressed them as his team. He talked about how far they had come over the last nine years, where they started out together, his team, as young boys, and him, that young coach. And it was the day before an opportunity was placed at their footsteps, an opportunity to win a district title, something that no one had ever done at Seals Grove before. And he talked about what those boys in that room, along with the coaches at the other levels, along with the parents that took those boys everywhere they needed to go and did everything they needed to do to make sure that they were on that mat year after year after year, accomplished. The team that <clears throat> once could not fill a lineup had no problem filling a lineup and a half. The team that couldn't win a dual meet, stood at 10 and 2, the second seed at the district duels tournament. The team that once had crickets in the stands just a few weeks earlier packed the gymnasium at the high school more so than any other current student had ever seen. And the, the team that was once 
ignored and disrespected by the student body, had become one of the most dominant sports at Sealands Grove. Boys, we climbed this ladder together. At the time, we did not know it. We didn't know what we were going to accomplish or what we could accomplish. We were just all individuals, but somewhere along the lines, we became a team. We became a successful program. Tomorrow, we have the opportunity to do something great. If we're speaking realistically, Many of you in here will never get to that state tournament, not as individuals. But tomorrow, we have the opportunity to do it together. And everybody in here can be a state qualifier. Everybody in here can wrestle at the highest level. That is what waits tomorrow. But as I've told you many times before, this world doesn't give things to people who deserve them or people that talk about wanting them. This world gives things to people that go and take them. So my question for you is, are you ready to take what is yours? <laughs>